our stencil will be a compass that will say migrations created nations and uh, our sticker will be the wall like the Pink Floyd album The Wall, but uh, on it will be written actually nations creating migrations. <laughs> I'm currently in a group made of five people and we're beautifully composed because each one of us, I believe, has a different task within the group. Um, the, the issue that we've been tackling uh, for, for the last couple of days is consumerism. We have like one boy that goes to school and all his, he do is checks his phone, he comes home, he checks his phone, he eats, he checks his phone. His mother is trying to talk to him, but he's checking his phone. We've lost ourselves and we're becoming social beings, social media beings, actually. And by that, I, I want to emphasize on the topic we've chosen, which is the phone overuse is especially among youngsters, with the target group being high school, high school students. I think that art has been an important part of political engagement, especially with youth, but I think what this project does is it takes a unique approach. Uh, it's really empowering these, these youth to learn new skills within that one week and find ways to how they can apply them to, to their own work. I think that I believe that art is the, the only tool that we have to connect people from different backgrounds and different social issues. Because art uh, can surpass all the language barriers, for example, cultural, cultural barriers, and can bring people together. Art is a tool that can help us to express what we have inside us, and at the same time to connect with other people who, who are living in, in different backgrounds than us. I want you to show through the pictures, to the cover art and to the history of comics, how the comics are reflecting our culture, our pop culture, and how the comics are raising social issues. I think that art is kind of a speech of uh, advocacy and social issues because I uh, believe that uh, culture, art are really connected with uh, social issues and with politics, of course. Migrants that are passing borders uh, on the, in the Greece, actually every day there is 3,000 of them who are trying to pass, but only 300 of them actually pass, so only 10% of them. I read somewhere that uh, comics are working class art form. So it means it is subconsciously speaking to everyone. And uh, I believe it's the perfect way to say something, to uh, say to the bigger audience. Art was always a means to express our, ourselves and we're social beings. And for me, art does not exist um, as a term only for something beautiful to hang on the wall. It's the, the most elegant way to declare that we are here and we have things to say. Art has a, it's a sort of system of two structures, basically, the aesthetics and the ideology. And so sometimes the art is more focused on the aesthetics, sometimes more on the ideology but it's a great tool for sending a message. We have some problem in the society and that's the people. People have low confidence and bad value system. So we as a young people decided to change something and we, we put the topic positive society. If there are people uh, who are decision makers and uh, they see this, these pictures, these stencils, this art, they can be the one the ones who make the different decisions. Also, voters are influenced by the street art because voters are on the street and they see it. And then this is the, the, the biggest uh, opportunity and the biggest, uh, the best side of the street art that uh, it's out there. Everybody can see it. Everybody can somehow feel it. 
uh, make their minds change because of it. I will say that public actions are the best way to infect the, the, the young people. So maybe it, uh, for, it will be good to push them, you know? Okay, they are learning everything, but when you're seeing things on streets, you get influenced. So more street art, more influenced people. It's kind of, it's propaganda, you know? It's, uh, you see something, you want to make something. It's so easy. Today you don't have to be a good artist. To, to make any street art because your message is the, is the, is the power that you're, you're giving. I think it's been a really great experience to see the kind of multidisciplinary approach. There, there's, there's interviews, there's uh, graffiti, there's lectures, there's stencils. Uh, what's really struck me is how all of these have kind of been weave together into a coherent project that really tackles art, it tackles advocacy, it tackles kind of political engagement in, in general. You don't get any kind of education in this region like this, you know, and that's why it's, uh, it's attractive, that's why we have participants from 10, from 10 countries. What I liked out of this out of this workshop is that it combined two things, you know. First first of all, we had lectures, you know, in different areas of arts and from professors as well, which is needed. And second of all, we had we had we had um, like the actual part of the working and workshopping, you know, like drawing and, and with the markers and everything. And that was actually my favorite, my favorite part. As far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty much satisfied with the entire training. I believe you should add some kind of, uh, well, we, we will have a concert to party tonight, you know, but I also believe that you should add some kind of uh, music workshop and music lectures, because music is also an art uh, which can influence uh, a lot. To merge uh, design, music, or create sort of groups that are going to work together and present a final project that maybe it can be uh, performed in all the countries that are taking part. I would be really interested in knowing something about photography, about, um, I don't know, maybe movies or a documentary, something like that. Everything is uh, quite well uh, put together. Uh, only thing, because as I said previously, I worked as a journalist for almost 10 years, I uh, feel like maybe uh, there, there could be great if there is someone from the civil society who is actually tackling with certain issues that are currently burning all over Europe and the world. Mm -hmm.